Alright, what is going on everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today I've actually got a clip from the CHB podcast, which I want to kind of show to you guys, but also kind of make an announcement before this clip starts, that I actually will be starting up a brand new channel where I will actually be dedicating all the clips to the CHB podcast and kind of just putting on, you know, putting all of them on there for you guys to, of course, go and check out. Again, every time I release a podcast, I'm hoping that maybe you know, three to five or so clips from that podcast can be taken out. I will be interviewing other people like this and making more podcasts with other people like this too. So if you guys enjoyed it, you know, definitely let me know. But of course, if you haven't already, go and check out the full podcast and subscribe to my new channel, which I will all be linking in the description down below. But I guess without further ado, enjoy the clip. But I'll tell you what, one move that Kobe Altman looks to be really interested in making, which I want to get all your thoughts and opinions on, which I think could be absolutely great, is the Cam Reddish situation right now with the Atlanta Hawks. What do you think about yeah. that? I really hope Kobe Altman can pursue that. I really hope, because that that one, I won't say will fix all the problems with the Cavs, because we definitely still need more shooters on the team. But if you pick Cam on a team who has no franchise player right now, and you tell Cam Reddish, that it is open season, right? We don't have, like, the system is not built around Colin yet. The system is not built around Garland yet. Yeah. So you can real life play and make the system, like, if you feel like this is your system, show us, you know? And I feel like Cam Reddish need that team because I really think Cam could be good. He just need he just need a team where he can have a ball because even in Atlanta, right, when he came back in the playoffs, He's a, he's a good shooter. He can create a shot. He's really like a Paul George, but just like similar like Paul George. When Paul George got good is when Danny Granger left the team, right? Yeah. <laughs> and this is how it's going to be in Atlanta. Like, the moment he separates himself from Trey Young, who is ball dominant, like, no knock to him. He should be. But yep. when the focal point is on you, I mean, you're not going to – you're not going to – develop like we've ne mm. we've never seen a player like even with michael porter jr but he, even though he's just that good when the system not a focal point you're not gonna be like that so yeah kobe if kobe altman can make this move i think this would be a great sign for us because now we would have and we still got a lot of questions because we still got to decide you know is colin and garland the duo you know, yeah. for the guards but you now you have the option between those two you got uh Whoever you get out your two guard, Cam, uh, Evan Mobley, and Jared Allen, mm. I think you can feel something with that. Yeah, and, and the good the good thing that you said this as well is that you know maybe maybe Cam Reddish if he separates himself from Trey Young, he could potentially be a way better play. And you looked at the you know Danny Granger and Paul George thing when Paul George got the ball more in his hands, he ended up being really good. And the great thing with Cleveland is is right if you were to put him with Colin Sexton, I don't think that would be that great. But Darius Garland, Garland is an elite three-point shooter, catch-and-shoot type player. I don't think Garland would, you know, would mind giving Cam Reddish the ball to potentially do some things. I think that duo would be absolutely insane. But it also depends on what, what we would have to trade up, you know, to get Cam Reddish. If we have to give up a 2022 first-round pick, I probably wouldn't do that because I, I still feel like we need one more draft. But... In saying that we only need one more draft, in my opinion, I reckon the 2023 pick should be up for grabs. And I wouldn't mind giving them, you know, if they even took on Jetty Osman and his terrible contract, I'd say, all right, here's 2023 pick. There's no guarantees we're going to be good in that season. But we really, really like Cam Reddish, you know? So I, I would yeah. offer Jetty Osman and that pick for Cam Reddish. And I couldn't see why the Hawks, you know, wouldn't want to do that, especially if, you know, they know they're going to have to pay Cam Reddish soon, and he's kind of not really working out right now on the team. But they're also yeah. not really in a rush to trade him. Which is great for them because they know – because Atlanta understanding – which is why I think Cleveland has to adopt some of these other teams' philosophies. Atlanta know they don't they, – they're not in – they don't have to, right? Like, they know they have to be – they have to be uh, – Persistent, right? They have to be persistent because they don't want to be in a situation where they pay all the players. Now they don't got cap. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now with them, because they know people want Cam Reddish, and this is why I think Kobe Altman this off season should have been more patient, right? And mm -hmm. the reason why I say that, and I'm glad you said that because we could have messed around and traded Larry Nance for Cam, and I really think Atlanta might have 
really wanted that because they would have had a power forward that could be mobile and oh, at yeah. three and power yeah. forward spot. So now, now you give it more flexibility for John if you want to play small ball five or Clint Capella now because now mm. Clint Capella is not going to be compromised. He can just control that paint. And I just, man, I just, I wish, I hope, <laughs> I hope Kobe all been going in this this season. He, like he's just persistent. Like you got to yeah. understand, like. Like just you, you, like you have to be diligent. You got to pitch your pieces in order because on a, on a tangent, I, I really think they're gonna end up shopping or trading Ricky Rubio. Mm. I don't, I see them keeping him. The so way you think that will him. be like a deadline move, maybe? Yeah, because I think similar with Javale, because I, I seen that coming too. I I knew we wasn't gonna keep him long term. It was just mm. like he was a good veteran player. That was still worth some. And Rubio is the same thing. Rubio is is a good veteran player that a lot of playoff contending teams want, right? Yeah. And for Cleveland, we don't need Rubio, right? Yes, mm. yes, Rubio can teach our young guys how to, you know, just as what what you got to do. But Kobe Allman is going to end up trading him close to that trade deadline. Yeah, I can see that. And I think what what teams will like about Ricky Rubio is once he gets traded, if we if we were to trade him at the deadline, right? What's he on now? a $17 million contract, we will have already paid half of that. So a team that will only have to pay him like $9 million, I could see, I could genuinely see a team. If Ricky Rubio actually plays good this season, averages what? Six points, five assists, six assists on terrific defense, good leadership. I don't see why a team wouldn't want to pay the other half of his contract and then maybe even give us a lottery protected first. That would be, I think, the most ideal situation a team like the Clippers, like what? I still don't understand why the Clippers traded for Eric Blood. So I think they should have kept Rondo, in my opinion. But they were looking for playmaking last deadline. If they're going to look for playmaking again this deadline, Ricky Rubio could be on their radar. And the dude that they have that I kind of like is Luke Kennard. I think contracts would kind of match up there. And if we could even get something back, I wouldn't even mind taking on Luke Kennard. I think he's actually a really good player and would maybe fit in with the Cavs. But. Yeah, you're right with Ricky Rubio. I'm not too sure how that will go.